Uh, oh, 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 hey there. It's so good to see you. Um, I'm out here in the wilderness today, and I don't know where I am. It's really hot. Are we there yet? Not even close. But this kind of reminds me of Moses and the Israelites. They were stuck in the wilderness for a very long time, and they had their fair share of troubles. But don't worry. Through everything, God was with them. Moses and his friends loved and feared God. Being on the desert had put everyone on edge. Everyone had been really antsy to keep moving forward, but God asked them to wait. God called Moses up to the mountaintop and shared with him guidelines about how to live a good life, especially for when they arrived in the new land. The first four rules are about how to be in a loving relationship with God. Check this out. One, put God first. There are so many things that compete for our attention in our lives, but God has to come first. Number two, worship God only. The Israelites come from a place where they worship a lot of different gods, but we know that God is real and true, so our worship should reflect that. Number three, respect God's name. Whenever we say God's name or talk about God, we should do it in a way that honors God and never misuse it to hurt others. Number four, respect God's day of rest. God wants us to dedicate a day of the week to rest and spend time with Him. Number five, respect your parents. The people who take care of us have gone through a lot to make sure that we are healthy and have everything we need. We can thank them by treating them with kindness and love. Number six, don't harm anyone. When we're hurt, angry, or upset, we tend not to think clearly and might act in a way that hurts someone else. God knows this and He reminds us to control our temper and to trust Him. Number seven, keep your promises. God wants us to be faithful and keep our promises we make to one another. Number eight, respect other people's stuff. Don't take anything that doesn't belong to you. Number nine, tell the truth. God doesn't want us to be dishonest because each time we tell a lie, we're breaking someone's trust. Number 10, don't wish for other people's stuff. Sometimes we get ourselves into a lot of trouble by not being happy with what we have. God knows the healthiest way to live is to be grateful for what we do have and not get caught up wishing we had something that belongs to someone else. God didn't give us these rules to steal our fun or to make life boring. He gave us these rules so we can love God and love others in a healthy way. And that helps us on this journey called life. Hey, look, we're here. We made it. Thanks for watching today. We're so glad to see you and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.